Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fan addicts. Let's take a quick and informal look at Deadly Beloved and Other Stories. It's volume 33 in the ongoing Fantagraphics EC Artists Library. Here is my very own Drusilla. This is Decca, and she will not be helping me out at all here, but let's take a look at Deadly Beloved by Johnny Craig. The usual crisp, clear, black and white reproduction that you're used to. A wonderful introduction from Max Allen Collins here. And Dateline Johnny Craig, that is a reference to all of his Dateline stories in the extra comics. So there is some postcode material here. It also includes all of Johnny Craig's last horror stories. Some true classics here. Including timely... Inclusion of a Christmas story here that I'm sure you are all familiar with. It was adapted for the Tales from the Crypt movie and also the Tales from the Crypt TV show. So, Merry Christmas from the Vault Keeper there. I want to highlight a couple things that are special about this volume. Uh, once again, Jesse Geyer has lent original proofs from his personal collection of 3D stories that have never been reprinted. So this is Johnny Craig's take on Bats in My Belfry, which was originally done by Jack Davis. And um, this has never been reprinted before, and it is in beautiful, crisp, clear, 2D black and white, scanned from the original proofs in Jesse's collection. So very, very happy to see this here. There's another story here that has never been reprinted before, and it's a Moon Girl story, Vampire of the Bayous. This was not illustrated by Johnny Craig, but that brings up a good question that we hear a lot is, how are all of the EC stories going to be reprinted in artist-centric volumes? Well, it's because a lot of the non-regular artists that work for EC will have their stories included as bonuses. This one's by Shelley Moldoff, who was the originator of Moon Girl and Vampire of the Bayous is a story that was supposed to have been in the very first EC horror comic, Tales of the Supernatural. You can read all about that in a couple of Grant Geisman's books, Foul Play and The History of EC Comics talk about it extensively. Al Feldstein also talks about it in Grant's book, Tales of Terror, the EC Compendium. Um, but uh, three of the four stories originally intended for this first EC horror comic are included in this volume. The fourth one is Johnny Craig's Voodoo Terror, which was in another Craig volume, The Woman Who Loved Life and Other Stories. But uh, this story, Vampire of the Bayous, has never been reprinted before. Fantagraphics has been printing pre-trend stories that were not included in Russ Cochran's EC library. This is one of them. The last thing I want to highlight is this amazing chapter on the EC ghoul lunatic photos. And this is written by Paul Cast, who was the EC office boy, and it was his idea to do the ghoul lunatic photos. I have a whole video about them if you want to check out the history behind that. But there's Paul Cast there with a giant hamper filled with money from the EC comic sales. That's drawn by John Severin. And Johnny Craig himself did the captions for this article. And Annie Gaines Ashton lent the original photographs of the making of. Some of these were published in an issue of Squatron back in 1975, but um, here they are from the original photographs provided by Annie. And we've got the ghoul lunatic photos reproduced more clearly and larger than they ever have before. These are the actual original ghoul lunatic photos that they were scanned from. These are the most pristine examples I've seen. And these are the ones that were scanned for the book. When Russ Cochran reproduced these in the EC library set, they were from pretty rough examples and they weren't reproduced very well. So these are the clearest you're gonna see them. So there you have it. Quick look at Deadly Beloved and other stories by Johnny Craig. As always, very highly recommended and just in time for the holidays. Ho, 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 or should I say, heh, heh, heh.